Aloha, this is Steph with Turtle Po. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you a very short warm up seated yoga practice for, to prepare you for meditation. Mostly for seated, but you can do these movements and then just um, come onto your back for a yoga nidra or any meditation that you practice lying down. But um, traditionally, the practice of asana, which are the yoga poses, the physical movements of yoga, they were created so that you can sit and meditate longer with more ease. So the longer you want to lengthen your meditation practice as you advance your meditation practice, the more movement is going to help you sit in that ease. So this is just a very short movement. It's a seated practice when you are busy and don't have time for a full yoga practice. So these simple movements will still be very helpful to prepare you for it. So to begin, come to any comfortable seated position, either with your foot forward or shins crossed. And if you feel like it's challenging to sit tall, you're rounding, straining your lower back, your hips are really tight and your knees come up high, then sit up on a blanket or two or on a cushion. Take a moment to sit tall, grounding into the earth through your sit bones. See if you can lengthen through the crown of your head as if there's an imaginary string pulling you up to help you sit tall. Keep your heart open, shoulders relaxed, and the palms can face up, resting your hands, gently resting on your thighs. So palms facing up are for receiving. And if you're in more of a need of grounding, then flip your palms to face down. So each day is going to be different, so tune into what would serve you the best. And take a moment to gently close your eyes and start with some deep diaphragmic breathing in and out through your nose. Keeping your shoulders down, expand through your torso from belly to collarbones. Maintain the height of your spine and empty your breath fully. Pull your belly up and back. Pause for a second or two and take your next inhale. So you want to feel the whole torso expand and fill up like a balloon. And then completely empty out. Deep diaphragmic breathing to ground you and calm you. Soothing your nervous system. And then take a moment to just Keep breathing deep in and out through your nose. It's the yogic breathing. And if there's a lot of tension built, feel free to sigh out and exhale through your mouth, lion's breath. Stick your tongue, you can even stick your tongue out or just simply open your mouth and just let it out. And then bring your arms by your in front of your knees. And start to do some Sufi circles, loosening out 
contract your spine. So you want to link your movements to your breath. Breathing in and out through your nose. Inhale, go right and forward. Exhale to the left and back. Or however you were guided to you. And then feel free to switch direction. So it doesn't matter which side you start with. The most important thing is that you're moving with your breath. And then some days you just want to make a very small circle. And other times you want to make it very fluid and loose. Sometimes you even want to add your head. Make it very sensual and flowy. So just tune into the way your body wants to move to the rhythm that feels right for you. And you're also going to notice the shifting of the weight in your pelvic bowl from your sit bone, pubic bone, sit bone to tailbone. And then at the end of your next exhale, come back to that center line. And we're going to lean back, bring your feet out flat on the floor, slightly wider than your hips. And then do some windshield wipers by swinging your knees side to side. That helps to loosen up your hip joints. And then sometimes if you want to go deeper into that outer thigh, IT band, especially if you run a lot or drive a lot, you can even kind of pause for a few breaths and put one foot on top and just make it very heavy. So instead of efforting to press down, you just want to make it like a dead weight and breathe. Be very mindful of your knees uncross and then maybe do it on the other side. So you can move dynamically or you can hold for a few breaths. Just making this top leg very heavy and breathe. And on cross, come back to your center. And then we're going to cross our legs back and switch the opposite way. So opposite foot in the front. And if you don't remember which foot you started with, it's always better to start with the right foot and then do the left foot. Or we all have our habitual way that we naturally go. So do the opposite awkward way. So again, if you've had your foot in front of each other, you can have your foot in front of each other or you can cross at the shins, coming into Sukhasana, easy pose. And this time you're going to inhale to reach up, exhale to lean to the one side, keep the off position grounded, open up the side body. Inhale to reach up, exhale to the other side. Make sure you're not resisting with that bottom arm. Relax. Lengthen with your inhale. Exhale to drop. Grounding through the opposite hip. Very nice. One more on each side. Inhale to reach up. Exhale. Lean. Side bend. Inhale to reach up. Exhale. Lean. So try not to lean drop forward or lift up too much, go straight sideways. Good, inhale to reach up, exhale, release your arms. Let's do some shoulder rolls. <laughs> My hair is uh, all over the place today. Maybe do some neck rolls. And then we're going to do what's called a washer machine. So you're going to bring your arms up to the side, palms face up. Elbows are shoulder height. And then rest your hands on your shoulders. So the thumb is in the back, four fingers are in the front. And then gently just keep your spine straight and twist to one side or the other. So 
You don't have to do like the deepest twist, just do a very gentle, natural twist. Keeping your spine tall, we're twisting from the waist. Think of yourself like those washer machine that goes ooh, 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 ooh. This is detoxifying for spinal health. When you inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And just go at your own pace. Sometimes you want to move very slow. Other times you want to move fast and link the movements to the breath. Depending on your mood, what your needs are, honoring what is present for you. What is serving you? What would nurture you today at this moment? So same movements, if you do it with awareness and mindfulness, it's very different each time, each day. The most important thing is that you showed up for yourself. Then you can also switch directions by just switching the breath. So if you started with inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, you would go inhale, exhale inhale exhale so opposite start with your inhale on the opposite side so just do a few more breaths just like that and you don't really have to switch breath here not that important but you can also do switch the breath halfway and then sit tall and just make big circles with your elbows and loosening out the joints and the shoulders. Letting go of all the burdens that you're carrying, whatever's weighing you down through this movement and breath. Again, you can make very small circles or make a big circle. Inhale forward and up, exhale back and down. And then you can also switch direction. Inhale back and up, exhale, forward and down. So it doesn't feel like you really switch directions. Once you start, it's just the starting point. And then once you get going, it feels pretty much the same. But just making that switch helps to balance your brain hemisphere, the right and the left hemispheres. And then kind of shake everything out. Sit tall. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to twist. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to twist. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, twist. Again, twisting from your waist. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, twist. Next time, we're gonna hold for three breaths. So the back hand helps too, helps you to sit tall. Front hand, we're gonna pull and then draw that opposite shoulder back to open up and deepen your twist. If it's available to you, you can always back off if it's too intense. And then inhale to center. Reach up, exhale, twist to the other side. So back hand helps you to sit tall. Front hand helps you to twist, pull. And you want to expand through your collarbones. Draw that shoulder back and breathe. Getting taller with your inhale. Twist with your exhale. Taller with your inhale. Twist with your exhale. Just letting go of anything that's not serving you creating space for what you're open to receive. Good, inhale to center. Take a moment to sit tall again, coming back to that starting point. And maybe this time you wanna keep the hand position the same as how you started, or maybe you started with grounding, but now you're more open to receive. So you can either have your palms up or down, depending on what you're in need at this moment. 
And just take a moment to simply sit and observe. So that's a quick seated yoga practice, a warm up asana practice to prep you for meditation. So you can just sit here and go into your meditation of your choice or whatever practice you have. Again, it's always good to pick one and practice consistently for at least seven days, 21 days, 30 days, or 40 days. And then reassess and change it up as needed, or sometimes you just stay with the same one for a whole year. Or years, even. So it's about consistency and showing up and give yourself gratitude for showing up for yourself and happy meditation. Or you can lie down for your yoga nidra session from here. So thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. It's an honor to share this practice with you and connect with you through YouTube. So please be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with anyone who you think might benefit from it. Like and comment so that more people can see this video. So have a wonderful rest of your day or evening. Namaste. And go within and find your inner sparkle. See you next time.